Afternoon YouTube. It's my new bike. It's called the Road Warrior Extreme. Made by Fabulous. Yeah, 60 volt battery, 26 inch by 4 inch wide tires. 8 speed Shimano gears. I added a few things to it. Like new pedals, bigger pedals, grippy pedals. They kind of match the bike. I put a camera on the back. That's the screen up there. If we turn it on, you can see my puppy dog. It's very clear. Yeah, see? See my puppy dog. <laughs> got a very clear picture on it I put a it came with a bell a little ding ding like a tricycle bell didn't understand the reason so I went and got a little battery operated one it can change tunes so it all depends on who you want to scare it works phone bag that's designed for this type of frame. It has the bigger Velcro there to go over the double tube and then the single there. I gotta trim them off yet and then one around the steering wheel, but you can't put that super tight because then the steering wheel pulls on the bag. It's waterproof. But yeah, dual motor, 750 watt motors. Front headlight. It comes with two USB ports. They say just one, but it comes with two. One comes off the headlight, it's right there, and then there's one, uh, where did I see it? On the back of the, right on the bottom of the uh, controller. So I don't know why they didn't say anything about that one. Oh my me, my little puppy loves the, loves the ball. So anyways, I think the pedals kind of match up, but that's her. I haven't done much with it yet. I've been slowly building it. When I received it, it was missing some parts, so that took a bit to get it back together. And uh, yeah, there's some do's and don'ts about it, but hey, I'm not going to cut it down. I like the bike. My first uh, electric bike was a smaller fold-up uh, Daymac Max S. And uh, my wife and I both own a pair of those, and I really like those. My wife loves it. She didn't want to go bigger. I wanted to go bigger because I do a lot of biking on my own. So I figured this would be uh, a little more gooder. So anyways, I'm trying to find a basket for the back rack here. Made out of the similar piping. Yeah, there's a couple other bike companies that sell them, but they are out of stock or they will not ship to Canada. So if anybody knows where, this is a Canadian made bike out of Montreal, Quebec, which is one province over from me. I'm in Ontario. And yeah, you don't need a key to run it. You just need a key to disengage the battery. They suggest to leave the battery on the bike for charging instead of disconnecting it all the time. My little Daymac, it's just a pull-out battery underneath the seat. I pull it out all the time to charge it up. But uh, yeah, it's got brake lights on the back here. Right down there. Brake in, I think, I think night lights, I'm not sure. I've never had it on yet. It's not dark enough to uh, tell. So then I bought a heavy duty lock for it. But mind you, I don't really plan on going anywhere where I'm going to have to lock it up. It's just in case. So, yeah, just a nice bike all around. I like it. So far, so good. I've taken it up and down my road. I'm out in the country, and right now, as you can tell, the road's pretty quiet. And I can scoot up and down without any worry about it. See, there's no mirrors on this bike, so that's why I got the backup camera. Backup camera is rechargeable. Yeah, so you can see me in it. That's me, candy scrapping. 
and uh, yeah I'm just doing a bike review first one I've done actually I've done the day Mac one if you check my uh, YouTube channel out my wife and I were on it we have some trails around this city and uh, yeah I live in southwestern Ontario so come winter time it's already middle of September the bikes will be going in the basement because uh, well they're electric they're motors I do that with all my battery operated tools the only ones that don't get put away are the car and the truck they don't get put away well they're designed to sit outside these are not so and you invest a lot of money in these but anyways that's her him <laughs> whatever you want to call it the only one downfall is with that big battery it doesn't leave you much room to put anything else you know like I almost have to get a pannier bag if I want to add more stuff and that's like saddlebags that hang over that rack but I'm hoping to get a rack rack like a delivery rack but uh, yeah but it is nice it's got hydraulic brakes steel fenders I was kind of wondering I was hoping it's got tender tires on it I was hoping they were white lettering raised white lettering but they're not so I bought some uh, paint sticks strictly just for tire rubber and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do them up I like the I like white walls I like it when they stand up and say hey we're here <laughs> so anyways if you liked it give it a thumbs up if not be gentle when I stay one thing I did forget to mention on it it does have front shocks it does not have rear shocks but it comes with a suspension seat post so you're already ahead of the game like that and a very <clears throat> cushy seat you can see it these are the springs on there. I think they're that uh, rubber, other oh, rubber coated springs. Okay. And it does have a nice cushy grip. I don't have a big butt, so I need a, I need a cushy, cushy seat. And it's actually very soft. Don't mind me. She loves your ball. But anyways, there we go. I think I got it all covered. <laughs>